YouTuber named Dylan James TV hears a low metallic humming noise and starts recording. Everything from religious warnings to alien technology has been suggested as possible explanations. I'm not sure what it is, but I will say that this definitely sounds like some sort of mysterious buzzing noise. Tell me if you think this sounds like a machine or something else. Sometimes if you want to know if a room is haunted or not, all you have to do is ask. Move it. Holy sh It's creepy, but I'm not sure this object really moved on its own. It sounds like a fan is blowing from side to side and could have moved the object instead of a ghost. Tell me if you hear it. Holy sh he might have put the bottle at just the right distance to make it seemingly move upon his command. Is this moment paranormal to you? I'm on the fence with this one. Captured at Hillview Manor in Newcastle, these paranormal explorers face their fears. Published by SCWC in October of 2019, the uploader calls this the scariest moment of their entire life. Although the video has no sound, the YouTuber says footsteps charged at them from down the hallway. The video shows their terrified reaction as they all look toward it. One of them even dives out of the way as the invisible spirit charges toward them. Noting that the footsteps ran between all of them, the uploader writes, The walls and floor shook with every footstep this spirit took while running. Well, you don't see anything run past. This group's synced reaction seems more than genuine. What was in the hill house with them? Rain pouring an abandoned railway house in the middle of nowhere. The scene is set for terror. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Exploring with Danny follows Danny and Luke wandering through the forest in the stormy darkness. They finally arrive at the abandoned railway house, which looks undoubtedly haunted with the lightning flashing ominously overhead. Once inside, they begin exploring. Everything is torn apart. Windows are boarded up, graffiti on the wall. Danny claims that back in the 1800s, more than 30 people passed away on the railway line outside the house. Those are shoes abandoned on the stairs. They head up to the second floor. In the bedrooms upstairs, there are still clothes hanging on the wardrobe. Danny asks any spirit to make itself known by giving a bang or closing a door. He might regret asking. They head down the hallway and find a strong lock on the door. A piece of the door has been broken clean off. They enter the room and it looks like someone has been living there. A wardrobe stands in the corner. As they look around the room, suddenly the wardrobe is pushed aggressively over, revealing a woman dressed in white. With a pale face and dark hair, hidden in the corner, she starts to approach them. Needless to say, the explorers scream and flee the scene as though their lives depend on it because they do. What's that? Can we hear that thunder? What's that? What's that noise? I hear something coming from there. Probably rats. Whoa! <laughs> This Aztec wind instrument has been terrifying people for hundreds of years. And you're about to be next. The noise is supposed to replicate your final screams and is even said to haunt your dreams. Listen to this and tell me how stressed out it makes you, if at all. Here it is again, this time in a professional recording studio to get the full effect. I definitely can hear how this sounds like someone screaming for their life. Can you? It's not too often that you watch a video that completely scares you silly. 
published to YouTube by RZ Flame in March of 2017, the uploader of our first clip believes what you're hearing is a ghost, and what you'll soon see will prove it. The sounds are subtle at first. They don't even wake the lone man in the office, who's sleeping on a chair in the corner of the room. Neither does the phone, which rings a couple times shortly after the noises start. He appears to wake slightly, but not enough to get up and answer the phone, and soon he's dozing again. When the phone rings yet again, he finally rises to answer it, before returning to his computer and getting back to work. That's when a chair in the opposite corner of the room spins full circle on its own. This catches the worker's attention briefly, but he shrugs it off and returns to his assignment. A moment later, a water bottle falls from the edge of a desk. At this point, the office worker stands up to gauge what's going on. That's when the poltergeist really has some fun, throwing a chair onto its back in the middle of the office. This activity seems to be the last straw. The man screams and races from the room. That's some good judgment on his part. When things go haywire in your own home, it's easy to jump to a paranormal conclusion, especially when there appears to be poltergeist activity. Posted to YouTube in January of 2012, the uploader explains, This is real footage taken at my house. As you can see the way the bottle moves, this is inhuman and impossible for a human to make a bottle move and gesture in these motions. This is totally real and scary, so if you are faint of heart, do not watch this, please. This is video of real paranormal activity. <laughs> In the video, the men enter the kitchen, where a bottle on the floor appears to be rolling around of its own accord. After they enter the room, it stops for a moment before spinning around again. It twirls on its side and then stands straight up on its base. One brave man picks it up and puts it on the kitchen counter, which is where the clip ends. YouTuber MRLWAP2 in the comments suggests there's helium in the plastic bottle, but most people are more alarmed by the zebra pattern cupboards than the so-called ghost. Jenny Chanel writes that zebra print would make even a plastic bottle want to escape a room. So is this a supernatural case, or simply a case of terrible interior design? Only that soda bottle knows. Ever felt like you were being watched? These three boys definitely had reason to. Posted by the comics man to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes, Some dudes go to the Danakil Desert, or a park, what is in the first frame? The video shows three kids getting ready to do some parkour, everyday kid stuff, but not far beyond in the background. Look at what is watching them from a nearby tree. The figure appears like a silhouette and gives off serious Slenderman vibes. The ominous way it's lurking there makes the otherwise innocent parkour video intensely creepy. You can vaguely see the figure again at a distance, at 1 minute and 43 seconds. It continues to stand there in the clump of trees, and again around 3 minutes in. What is this thing? Do these boys have a lurker? Nowhere is safe. A YouTuber named Flair is left shaken after a fishing trip goes wrong, and you'll never guess how. It's a clear day when they hit the lake, but after a while, dark clouds soon roll in. Flair and his friend are too busy catching fish to notice a sudden shift. That's when nature tells him it's time to go back indoors. His line pops with static. Lightning has struck the lake somewhere and sent a jolt through them both. One of them gets into the water to tie the boat off. A risky move in my opinion. He's out of the water again before lightning strikes twice. I'm glad they both appear to be unharmed. But talk about a close call. State-run buses that run through Hamashal Road, Transport Corporation, or HRTC are known to have some of the most treacherous bus routes in the world. Unpaved, muddy, and wet roads are just the beginning. There's also the landscape, mountainous and threatening. Here's just one of those routes. 
captured on camera. On the route, Manali to Kanor, the ride is slow going as the roads are wobbly trenches in the mud. In this video, you see a train of buses precariously rocking back and forth as they meander alongside tall piles of snow, rugged mountains towering in the background. The large buses don't look so much like they're driving, rather they look like they're hopping. The cravats in the muddy road are assumingly frozen over, resulting in a jackhammer of a ride. And while the cliff edge on the right hand side of the buses don't appear to be a clear drop off, it's safe to say that one small overcorrection in the mud could potentially send a bus rolling down the mountain. I'm going to play it safe and steer clear of those routes. A YouTuber named Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz lives alone and often hears wearing sobs in his basement. He says that he is way too strapped for cash to afford a Bluetooth speaker and that this is real. Take a listen for yourself. At 57 seconds into the video, the spirit seems to respond to his voice. Hello? Hello? He pokes around the corner, and sitting in the far corner of the room is a tiny entity made of light that kind of resembles a small child. I took a screenshot to better illustrate what I'm saying. The shape looks roughly symmetrical, and the head is looking directly at the camera. A YouTuber named Benjamin Bennett makes videos where he smiles for literally hours at a time. No one knows why he does it. Maybe it's performance art or maybe he is a little unstable. Either way, videos of a man smiling at you for hours at a time are deeply unsettling. Then, one day, Benjamin Bennett frowned. I think that maybe his facial muscles were cramping up after hours of smiling. Or maybe he was playing a practical joke on us. Other viewers, however, are sure that Benjamin Bennett is being held against his will and is being forced to smile by someone off camera. Let me know which explanation you think is true based on what you've seen here. What happens when the next generation wants nothing to do with the family property in the middle of nowhere? Published by Jordan Sovis, Jordan and Chris explore a house that's been abandoned out in the country for a couple of years. They crawl under the garage door and jimmy their way in using a credit card. Inside they find a lovely piano for the ghost pianist to play. And while searching the place, they spot someone outside. Dude, there's a dude outside. What? Hasn't this place been abandoned for like... Ever? Is this the home's caretaker? Or something else entirely? Using a pendulum, they start asking the ghosts questions. They ask if they're in good spirits, and they're told no. Later, they ask the spirits if they can make their presence known, and the spirit answers, Are you present with us here in this house? As they start to panic, the ghosts don't let up. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? Was that you? For some reason, even after all of that, the guys stay. They again ask if there are spirits here, and this time the spirits reply with a song. The piano keeps playing, even after they've raced out of the house. No way, dude. Dude. No way, did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again, do it again, do it again. <sighs> Still, they return. The piano continues to play and then this happens. Not long after, the ghost goes full on poltergeist. Now we can see why this home was abandoned in the first place. What was it? Go, you go first, man. I don't want to be in this Dude, place. I don't want it straight up. Holy <laughs> Dude, what Why are you going? laughing right now? Seriously. What is going on? I'm delirious. <laughs> Ben of the YouTube channel Laney and Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here is a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. <laughs> Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely.
Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness. It doesn't appear that Lainey and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. What you discover when out late at night can make your skin crawl. Posted to Reddit, the Redditor writes, People are saying it could be a skinwalker. The on-screen caption reads, Something weird is happening in my town. And after watching the video, you'll agree with that statement. The video begins with something hopping on all fours over a hill while roaring in an animalistic manner. It's hard to tell what the thing is at a distance, human or animal. The second clip in the series reads, Dude, something is in the shed at Desert Willow, and it certainly sounds like it. Something is beating against the barred doors of a shed at night. There's also a terrifying growling voice heard, though its words are inaudible. It's difficult to tell if the thing is human, but it continues to beat at the walls of the shed. Part 2 of the video series reads, Stay away from Dynamite Park. In it, barking, howling, and wailing are heard. It doesn't sound like a dog, nor does it sound human. Again, the video captures an unidentified creature at a distance, racing around on all fours. Could this be a skinwalker? Don't stick around to find out. Nevertheless, it appears some serious mysteries are taking place in that town. This one's a lot more boo than peak. Published by Fun with SK in May of 2022, and originally published by YouTuber Simply Sareth, this scary video captured something creepy playing peekaboo around a corner. Sareth is outside this haunted home, his camera facing the front door, when his night vision footage captures this creepy creature peering around around the doorway. What is this figure? It certainly looks human in size, but is it a ghost? Or is it just a living human being so super creepy? I think these are questions we'll never get the answers to. This worrisome video I'm about to show you was posted on March 18th of 2017 by a person who had been teetering on the edge of self-destruction for years. Things were much worse this time. Something, something seems to be after me. I, I don't know what else to say. Except goodbye. You'll never guess what he does next, but first let me tell you what he has been through. His psychological torment would begin in early 2015, approximately two years before his final goodbye. That was when someone began knocking at his door, almost every night, for days. He lives all alone and is a very private person, so introverted in fact that we never learn his name. For him to have a visitor is not normal let alone in the middle of the night. The knocks were annoying at first, but he figured it would stop if he ignored it. But when that didn't work, he decided to start documenting everything early on, in case he needed to take it to the police or something later. He also decided to confront it and defend himself if need be. This incident, taken on February 12, 2015, starts with two knocks that are so soft, it would be easy to think you're imagining them. But after three weeks of harassment, he is frazzled and hears every noise, so he springs to action ready to meet force with force. But there's just one problem. Nothing is ever there to confront. Listen closely to this part, because I hear chatter after he locks up. He installs a second camera outside the very next night on February 13th, 2015. Friday the 13th to be exact. Sure enough, it starts again.
He opens the door and no one's there. It's not two different videos put together either, because his movements in both videos sync perfectly, like at 1 minute and 15 seconds when he smooths his hair. Even if he practiced this routine, it still wouldn't be this dead on. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that this happens at 3am every night. Anyone would want to move and he absolutely did, but his money situation meant he couldn't either continue to endure this or go homeless in the middle of the winter. Eventually, he decides to go outside before 3 a.m. and see if he can catch whatever or whoever is doing this on video. He doesn't see them, but he does find footprints leading away from his house into the woods. The footprint is separated in two halves, more like a hoof print than a foot, yet two legs instead of four. Some people have said this could be a demon or even a cryptid. I don't know about all of that, but I know that he really did go out at 3 a.m. And I know this because I hear a train throughout the video. Oddly enough, this late night train is heard in all of his videos, and I think could be closely related. Something bad must have happened on the nearby tracks. By August 28th, whatever had left those footprints was looking for other ways inside both day and night. No longer was it confined to 3am. Tell me if this is an animal or something way worse. I didn't hear any claws tapping. This was the sound of somebody fast. A raccoon or a possum would be doing this at night time. This was something big in the middle of the day, like a restless spirit. So after years of experiencing this and other similar encounters, perhaps you'll better understand why. After saying goodbye in March of 2017, he simply decided to open up the door and stop. Goodbye. Whatever that was, it sounded far from being a person. Over two years later, this mysterious final video was uploaded on January 1st, 2019. Those sound like church bells. Maybe this is a clip taken from a funeral. Could it be his? And whoever typed these replies doesn't act like him at all. Rob of Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration challenges himself to withstand 30 minutes of the paranormal without getting scared of this haunted place in the woods. Creepy things are soon caught on camera. Uh. Rob's paranormal worries are just starting to begin. Uh, my camera battery is already half full before I even really did anything with it. He's talking about how his fully charged battery is mysteriously half drained. When a woman's voice softly talks about taking lives, strange red lights flash in the corner when she speaks. He also has two potential ghost sightings outside while listening for more EVPs. Sounds closer though. First, this strange object disappears in the distance, followed by a possible ghost orb up close. Overall, I think Rob's findings are beyond creepy and probably real. A YouTuber named LaxRebel225 is playing a video game at home when he hears something loudly bust through the front door. He's frantically looking from room to room when finally he hears it making a racket again, this time from the kitchen. 
When he crosses into the kitchen, nothing is to be found. Instead, he hears it again from behind. I'm not sure why he stomps his foot here. If he's trying to scare the creature away, it doesn't work. Lax Rebel does a full circle around his home and ends up standing just outside of the kitchen again. He seems to get a bad feeling and hesitates. That's when this inhuman noise fills his house. <laughs> The creature seems to say something in a chittering language that almost sounds like an evil laugh. Then it leaves his home, shutting the door behind itself. Maybe I'm just overthinking, but the alien's voice sounds very high quality, like way too good for the average YouTuber to edit into their video with home equipment. As much as I don't want to admit it, I think this video could be real based on the creepy laughter alone. Still, I'd definitely like to know what you think after watching this video. I'm especially looking for the opinions of people who have experience with audio engineering. <laughs> what on earth is this creature? Nair BR writes of this bizarre sighting on camera. This strange creature got caught up in strong winds and his wife was cleaning when it blew into the house. I was thinking it might be a territorial dispute between two insects, but as it unravels at 2 minutes and 25 seconds, it looks like one big creepy squirming oddity. The way it moves is unlike a snake or a worm or anything I've really seen before. It looks just as confused of us as we are of it, forming strange spiral shapes as it tumbles about, reaching out for something to grab onto. A host, perhaps. Whatever it is, it looks like something that crawls straight up your nose and takes over your brain. A parasite moving on to its next victim. Now that I've seen it, much like Nair BR, I want to know what on earth this creature is, and so I turn to you for an explanation. Would you be able to sleep after seeing this? Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit by Cardiologist Wary 306 this short clip was captured at 2.30 in the morning. The mysterious footage shows a semi-transparent figure walking from one wall of the room into what appears to be a bookcase, where it disappears. The figure looks obscure at first but grows in visibility. Before completing its vanishing act, the Redditor says that around 3 a.m. they often hear a conversation between a woman and a man in the bathroom. They've seen shadow people in the home, things being thrown across the room, lights have shut off, whispers in the ear, all in all a heavy atmosphere. The activity is too much to bear. And here's yet more of it. Many in the comments believe it's a spirit manifesting. Do you believe that's the case? Things are getting out of hand with this pyro poltergeist. Published by Memoria Sobrenatural Inc. in December of 2021, the spirits first make their presence known in this haunted place via EMF meter. The crew tries to communicate with the spirits and the window shutter slowly opens, perhaps to distract from the fire being set behind them. When they leave the building, they see a dark figure cross a doorway in the firelight. Later, they're back inside and they hear clinking. And then a loud bang. The flame they lit earlier goes out suddenly. Then, as they attempt to detect a presence using the EMF meter, the spirits send them up in flames. Do you think this team finally got the message? This poltergeist couldn't be any clearer. He wants them gone. I don't think I'd ever go back to that place. When American Airlines Flight 280 took off from Seoul, South Korea, heading to Dallas, none of the 240 passengers aboard the flight knew they were about to take the scariest ride of their lives. But that's just what happened. <laughs> The 
The plane encountered severe turbulence, which was caught on camera by passengers. The turbulence was so severe that the flight was diverted to Tokyo. After 15 people aboard the flight were injured, five of them being hospitalized. One passenger, Mark Stanley, an attorney in Dallas, told the morning news they were diverted after 45 plus minutes of insane turbulence. The remaining passengers were put up in Tokyo for the night, but not sure if I'd have the stomach to get back on a plane the next day. There's a YouTube channel called Happy Life that ironically explores some of the most miserably haunted places in all of Pakistan. Happy Life began as a spiritual advice channel, and now they hope to better understand the darker side of spirituality through paranormal investigations like this one. This time, the Happy Life crew intends to check out a haunted school where numerous students were said to have lost their lives. Early on, they encounter a poltergeist who is intent on chasing them away. The first encounter sounds like it's throwing plates, but then it graduates to a heavy bottle that could have really done them harm. Doors also repeatedly close as if something really doesn't want them to go any further. But the more I look at it, the more I think the cameraman is responsible for all of this rather than a ghost. The objects always just so happen to be thrown from the cameraman's direction, a strange coincidence, and the camera person always seems to be within arm's reach whenever the doors close, so I think he is either kicking it or else pushing it shut with his free hand. But when they get to the very top of the school, they find this mysterious red streak of dried up liquid overlooking the balcony. So even though parts of this video may have possibly been embellished, perhaps a student really did lose their life here after all. The situation only gets weirder when they come across a star in the hall that could have been used as a ritual or simply drawn by them to make the video scarier. I think it could be real though, because look what happens soon after one of them kneels in the middle. The way it echoes down the hall sounds forcefully loud and possibly real. One of them explores a room, while the other records from outside the window. No one else is nearby, so then tell me who is responsible for what happens next. They decide the inside is too dangerous to go any further and stick to the outer perimeter. Eventually, they come across a shallow well that gives off a residual negative energy that could be left over from a terrible and tragic event. Something compels them to climb inside, and sure enough, the dirt has been freshly disturbed. An orb passes left to right over the small grave as he plucks this fragment of human and holds it to the camera. An urban exploration channel called JJ Retro is exploring an abandoned house on the edge of an English village late at night. You can tell he's nervous just standing at the entrance of this creepy estate. It's time to come exploring somewhere like this because we're in the middle of nowhere um, on the outskirts of Slinfold at this rather creepy house and uh, there's a sort of haunted feel to it. Outside, they find a spooky tree with a rope slung over the branch and a plank of wood to step off of. I don't think we need to spend much time explaining what kind of scary events happened here. And when they start exploring the inside, every room fills them with a renewed sense of dread. Yeah, this, this is creepy. This is probably the creepiest building we've done so far in our urban exploring career. Ooh. They try to joke their way out of how scary this urban exploration is, but eventually they have to admit they are getting spooked by something paranormal in the house with them. Weird noises are coming from upstairs, or so they say, but to be honest, I don't hear anything. But as they slowly creep up the stairs, I can actually hear the weird sound, and that's when they get it. The creepy encounter caught on camera that they were all looking for. Hello? 
and that's when, with all of them on the steps mind you, the urban explorers see a rocking chair moving on its own. Since part of the chair is hidden by the doorway, maybe somebody was off camera making the chair move. Otherwise, this place is definitely haunted. A YouTuber named Johnny Paranormal decides to also go into the infamous Aokihara Forest. He boosts the sound of his microphone to capture every paranormal sound, and he is surprised at what he records. For example, tell me if you hear a demonic growl here. or a quick coughing noise here despite Johnny Paranormal being all alone, or a second person quietly whispering the word help. How is this? These creepy sounds continue to follow him throughout the entire video, which is roughly an hour and a half long. I think that's way more editing than most people would be willing to put into a fake video, so I think there's a strong possibility that this is real. What's especially concerning is this demonic noise that follows him wherever he goes. It's saying my battery's going flat. Again. If Johnny Paranormal really was surrounded by the supernatural, then I hope nothing followed him out of the forest. For years, this man experienced paranormal activity in his home, including books and Xbox games thrown on the floor and lights turned on. After setting up a camera, he finally captured footage of the poltergeist, published by Seth Lee Thompson in July of 2010. This is just a small taste of what Seth has been dealing with. A second clip shows the stairwell at night. The last clip shows the ghost playing with the lights. According to Seth, the light switch you see to the right is the only one connected to the corresponding light. It flicks on and off several times. Is this hallway haunted? If it is, don't be scared. As YouTuber Dark Pisces reminds us in the comments, just because spirits move things does not make them automatically evil. This video could be someone talking gibberish in their sleep, or it could be a possession. As uploader Jron2 seems to think, Listen to this part and tell me if you think she could be speaking an ancient language. Things are not conscious. Oh yeah? What does that mean? Uh, One person in the comments section for this video thinks she might be saying something like, on the other side of the gods in Old Latin. Whatever that means, if a second person could verify that this was what she said, then maybe we would know if she was possessed or just mumbling. Mysterious rare creatures walk this earth, and most of us will never get a chance to see them. Until now. Shared by YouTuber Satpam Horror, this creature is known as a parakang in Indonesian. And this is what it sounds like. If this isn't some expert makeup, then I am 100% terrified. The sound coming from this creature also makes my skin crawl. Its glowing eyes and small sharp teeth look demonic. One thing's for sure, I would never search for this creature. Is there something in the attic? Redditor Air Icer suspects so. After hearing tapping on the attic wall, they meet it with Sage. <laughs> And this is what they captured. What was that sound? A 
I tend to agree with Titus that this sounds like a metallic spring bang, but that doesn't necessarily negate a paranormal presence. Perhaps the spirit's just jumping up and down on the bed. According to YouTubers, most who've watched this video arrive there by typing in a random emoji into the search bar. That may be because the video shows a woman replacing her prosthetic eye. At the start of the video, the woman's eyes look nearly identical. The coloring is the exact same. In fact, I'd be surprised if you knew without reading the title that one of these eyes is fake, and I'd highly doubt that you could guess the real from the prosthetic. That's how good prosthetic eyes are in this day and age. But what happens next will make you question everything. The smiling woman holds open the bottom lid of her left eye, and after a little bit of finicking, the eye slides right out. All that remains is the eye socket. The woman then shows you her prosthetic, which is really just the front half of an eyeball. It is concave and empty behind. She replaces it in her eye by inserting it up behind her upper lid and then pulling her lower lid out to wrap around the bottom of the prosthetic. The eye is now back in place. She demonstrates its movement, and while it doesn't show as wide a range of circulation as a regular eye, it's certainly impressive what modern technology has done to improve visual prosthetics. If some entity starts throwing things, it's probably best to leave. Published by H.D. Adam in November of 2021, this scary video explores a ritual house. During his first walk through, a strange noise is heard off to the side. Something is in this house with Adam. The fear builds as a door slams shut. Sending the towels shaking on their hooks. Later, while Adam is talking to the camera, the curtains are jerked behind him. The spirits get angrier and throw a bucket when Adam doesn't get the message the first time. And then start throwing the pots. Even scarier, a telephone rings. And when he finds no one on the other end, something knocks on the door. If someone is there, it doesn't reveal itself, but the disturbances continue, with heavy pails falling, windows bursting open and doors swinging inexplicably. Later, when Adam does his own ritual, sitting on the floor and burning a candle, a metal object to his right starts to shake aggressively. A minute later, the lights go out and something else shakes loudly off camera. Would you be able to spend an evening in this haunted house? I can't take a minute more. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least, no one alive. That this video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries. But something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. People, I the fire, okay? <laughs> 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 
almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. Police in Michigan need to find a woman who has fallen from a dock through the ice before it's too late. The officer comes across two fishermen holding on to a poor woman who fears for her life. If they let go, she's going under. There's little time left. She's freezing. Hypothermia is the name for a dangerous drop in body temperature from prolonged exposure to cold. You can lose your life from it in as little as five minutes. You got a hold of her? Signs of hypothermia include red skin, fatigue, and numbness. I'm Take numb. a hand. Take I'm one. completely <clears throat> numb. So it's not looking good for her. Her core body temperature is lowering. Her organs are slowly turning off to preserve heat and protect the brain. They have one last chance to save her. It's too hard. You can't. Come on. Oh All right, stay right here. Stay right here. I'm stuck. Grab a hold. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. The police take over and get the job done in moments. One of the fishermen, an older gentleman, is absolutely exhausted and unable to stand by the time it's through. He and his friend are absolute heroes for not letting go until the police arrived, which actually took 15 minutes but to them felt like five. The woman later said she was starting to lose consciousness, a sure sign that she couldn't have withstanded much longer in that cold water. Hopefully we can all learn from the scariest moments of her life and always be careful when fishing on the dock. Had other people not been around to help, she would have been lost beneath the ice. If this brown fish tongue looks a little peculiar to you, then you are absolutely right. And it may look like an ordinary fish tongue. The last time I checked, ordinary fish tongue shouldn't have dozens of wriggling feet on the bottom. It's almost like a beetle. But if you look closely, it has little feet that move around. What you are looking at is actually a common parasite among fish. It grows inside of the fish's mouth in a rather grotesque manner, first eating away the fish's tongue entirely, and then securely fastening itself in the tongue's place. The fish must now share its food with the parasite if it wants to survive. Hopefully this clever parasite never figures out a way to somehow transition to our species. For all we know, it may just be a matter of time. This bike rider is about to get ghosted. Published by Scary Desk in February of 2022, a man on a motorbike stops in the middle of the road and he's looking down the street at something. A pedestrian also stops nearby and he seems to be looking at the same thing, which so far is off screen. After the pedestrian leaves, we see this. A shadow figure walks determinedly at the dude on the motorbike. As he gets closer, he disappears for a moment, but the man deliberately pushes his bike over as if to make a blockade between them and then runs off. The shadow figure suddenly reappears, and he surprisingly runs off too in the opposite direction. What is going on with this confrontation? It looks like the shadow was as afraid of the encounter as these guys were. A YouTuber called Are You Amazed decides to try an urban legend, which if done correctly will transport him to the spirit realm after pressing floor numbers in a special sequence. Nothing seems to be happening until he presses the last elevator button, which as you can see here is clearly a 6. They start to get scared when the elevator hits the 6th floor and promptly keeps moving. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, I press six. Yo, where is he? <laughs> the door gets stuck for a while on the 11th floor and then suddenly opens. A strange man they have never seen before is standing before them with clasped hands and a knowing look on his face. What's weird is how the man doesn't even seem to get into the elevator. 
As they step around him and rush down the stairs, are you amazed still not as sure exactly what happened or if the scary random encounter was supernatural? I guess the person waiting for them could have just been a normal guy waiting for the elevator. But if that's the case, then I'm not sure why it didn't stop at the sixth floor first. Also, I should say that the number 11 is considered an unlucky number in many cultures. So it might not be a coincidence that this is the floor they stopped on. A YouTuber named Yvonne hears a noise coming from her kitchen and grabs her phone to record. After 15 seconds of silence, a cabinet door opens to let an item drop onto the counter. Oh my god. The obvious answer is that someone pulled a string to open it. However, the cabinet opens to the right and no one is on that side. I guess someone could have been directly underneath. But when Yvonne gets closer, you can see nobody is on the ground. So I'm not sure what to think. The abandoned boys are exploring a haunted forest where some scary things are said to lurk late at night. They reach a mysterious clearing, and while searching through the tall grass, they somehow miss a figure in blue robes standing right in front of the camera at 12 seconds. 14 seconds later, the same figure has somehow teleported and now stares them down. In this alleged witch sighting caught on camera in the woods, a woman is hunched over and appears to have her robes pulled over her head. She moves slowly, and assuming this is real and not one of their friends, no doubt has a curse or two waiting for them upon her touch. Her very image itself might be cursed, and could explain why the video has lost most of its quality. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. She also says, they did it to me, they burned me. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. His lights go out, and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, and the lights go out again. Suddenly, he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? One day, a YouTuber named Michelle Burse and her friends are startled to find something burrowing beneath the ice. Oh my god! Wow! 
They are positive that something is causing the ice to crack and splinter as it digs a path under their feet. While I do see what they think, I'm pretty sure that this is just the formation of ice in real time. Still, I'd like to get your opinion to confirm. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea what could be shifting the ice like that. Prepat Amusement Park is an abandoned park in the Chernobyl region. It was abandoned before its planned grand opening after the meltdown that contaminated the area in 1986. Posted to TikTok by Edwin Calderon608, this TikToker is wondering what this person is doing in the highly contaminated park. The deserted Ferris wheel looks particularly gloomy, standing still with no one on it. That is, until the viewer zooms in on Google Earth to see a male figure standing in the service box beside the ride. The man isn't armored against the radiation that still pollutes the area. He is completely unprotected against it leaving me to wonder if he's perhaps superhuman. Anyone want to risk a visit to ask him? No, that'd be a terrible idea. An infrared camera was directed toward a stairway in a haunted home. This is what it captured, published by Electrica Man in October of 2006. The cameraman casts the shot toward the top of the stairs, appealing to the ghost to talk to them. While the spirit doesn't make a peep, you can see a child-sized apparition move out of view at the top of the stairs. You have to look closely as the semi-transparent figure vanishes quietly from the landing into the adjacent hallway. Is this ghost camera shy? Chris Halton of Haunted Earth TV shares in the comments, As an investigator, I have noticed a connection between IR light and spirits. They do react against the infrared light. He adds that this footage is the most compelling he's seen. What do you think? It seems to me that some very mysterious stuff is going on in this home. Down outside your house, would you have the courage to investigate? Redditor Ponce Flans uploaded a video clip of whatever was going on outside his home to Reddit. In the clip, it sounds like Ponce is opening his blinds, and outside you see nothing but darkness and a few street lights, but nothing too disturbing. You can hear a faint murmuring, but it's only when he opens the window that you hear the strange howling reverberating nearby. The weird sing-song howl doesn't exactly sound human, but it's hard to pinpoint what it does sound like. It continues over and over again. As Ponce notes, it sounded at first like it was coming from right outside his house, but on second thought, maybe it's coming from below the bridge. I thought it was coming from right outside my house, but it looks like it may be under the bridge. At the end of the video, you hear what is very much a human voice screaming. What? Some say in the comments that it's telling whoever is howling to be quiet. Many commenters call this sound unsettling and disturbing, while others suggest that Ponce go see what it is. Soiled Sanchez seems to have the most likely explanation. It's a train with empty hopper cars, he writes. Bad wheels or wailing ghosts. I know I wouldn't want this sound waking me up at 3 a.m. This strange deer keeps repeatedly wandering into the yard of a YouTuber named Free Tickies. It seems to be without a herd, so at first Free Tiki suspects that it could be someone's pet, which is not all that uncommon of an occurrence where he lives in Kentucky. After a minute or so, it becomes evident that this deer is sick with something quite serious. Watch here and you'll see how the deer looks disoriented enough to walk up to another neighbor's house. I have little doubt that it would have wandered straight through the front door if it was open potentially contaminating the entire inside. The YouTuber says that he called the local wildlife authorities and reported the deer shortly after recording this two-minute video. I think he keeps a respectful distance for the most part and appears to be safe from any potential contamination. As for the deer, 
It sadly had to be put down by government officials after it kept walking onto the nearby Route 8 highway. What's in the sky over Medellin, Colombia? Lorna Mascura shares this video of a dark unknown object aloft in the clouds. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm in 4K mode now. Like the iPhone, I'm filming on iPhone 13 Pro. I need to zoom more. Guys, what the f is that? The object is far away and it's hard to make out any details from this clip, but it appears dark and doesn't look like it's moving. He captures the surroundings and returns to the unidentified flying object. Honestly, I'm still... Is it the weather balloon? This time it looks like a square or cube. A moment later, a plane passes at a distance. Look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right, to the right. What is that? The object remains still in the sky for nearly three minutes of the clip. Everyone in the comments is completely perplexed by this video, as am I. I have no clue what it could be. It does not look like a weather balloon at all, and I have no other theories considering it doesn't move. Share your ideas in the comments. Al Capone has long held an obsession with exploring the scariest, most haunted places he can find. One of his creepiest videos ever has to be the time he went investigating a local cemetery at 3 a.m. God, I'm freaked out. Oh. That's a spirit. Can you do that again or maybe move that light switch? Turn on that light for me. The ghost does not turn off the lights, but what he accidentally caught on camera next convinced his subscribers and freaked them out. A ghostly figure appears beyond the stairs. He stares back to where it was, like he senses something so I think this paranormal sighting might be real. No random person would be at the cemetery at 3 a.m. It could be a maintenance worker, which would explain why the closet door was open earlier. But that doesn't explain the strange noise coming from within the room, or why his light flickered when he heard it. Two months later, he takes a 15-minute hike through the woods to go exploring what he calls one of the most haunted places in the world, the Blair Witch House. We weren't here previously to us documenting this place. What was that? Hello? Is anybody in this home? I'm just making a video. I don't get really good phone 
reception, so if something was to happen to me, I just hate this place. Something in the kitchen. This place makes my anxiety run so high. I don't know if you remember me. I'm sure you do. I've done so many investigations here. And I've caught you on camera many times. What the f What was that? The spirit takes him in circles, toying with him in his rising fear. I'm starting to feel like I'm hallucinating a little bit. Somebody back there? I'm not playing if someone's back there. Oh my, I hate this house. I'm not messing around. I want you to reveal yourself. Whoa! happening again dude I hate this house bro they need to tear this place down oh! oh yo I'm closing this door yo no in the name of Jesus oh there's a bat in the name of Jesus there's a bat right there oh He's freaking out and cornered when a bat flies under the door. It's seriously creepy and I don't know how this can be faked unless he somehow has a pet bat on hand, which I doubt. When he opens the door, no one's there. This investigation's a little too paranormal for his own good. Time to bail. My final analysis of both these ghost videos is that they are probably real. The first one might have been a cemetery groundskeeper, but it might have been a ghost and either way I don't think it was planned at all. The Blair Witch House video could have been a second person off camera, except for that bat under the door. Also, the Blair Witch House has been investigated by multiple channels, and the paranormal activity is fairly consistent, so I don't think he was faking any of it. Freaky, right? If you think you're safe in your own home, think again. Posted by Call Me Ace here to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the Redditor explains, This is a video of a random guy walking up to my brother's home in Houston, Texas. The stranger flashed their flashlight through my brother's front door window and camera. The video shows a man possibly casing the place. If that is what he's doing, he isn't taking many precautions, as he's not wearing a mask of any kind to hide his identity, nor does he take any notice at first of the security camera that's caught him red-handed. If he was trying to fly under the radar, he's doing a terrible job at it. Not only does he flash a flashlight directly into the potential target's home, but he looks squarely into the security camera, capturing his headshot straight on, right before shining the flashlight into the camera's face to Redditor Stark Burrito asks, Was he pointing the flashlight into the camera to obscure himself? Bit late, buddy. Other Redditors recommended that the homeowner alert other neighbors to the incident, as well as the neighborhood watch and local authorities. It might prevent the unknown person from taking this further. While you may not have to worry about those you know entering into your home, you should definitely worry about randos. Two friends are playing around with a camera in an old basement. I won't even tell you what to look for. Just watch and see if you can find anything out of the ordinary. Bars down as I go, okay. Do some weightlifting. Here it is again if you missed it. Let me know if you saw this supposed shadow person on the first try. I will admit that you have really good eyes if you did. If this video is real and not just someone who is dressed up, then this is definitely one of those videos that makes you wonder what other possibly paranormal events have gone on right in front of you without noticing. 
a ghost boy known as a Pukong in Indonesian, was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. Former President Barack Obama once had a Secret Service agent protecting him who has since become the center of many eerie rumors and unsettling theories found online. This video shows the agent standing a few rows into a crowd during one of Obama's speeches. The agent is very broad but his head and neck are far narrower and more angular than his wide shoulders or body. He also repeats the same set of odd movements over and over again. The agent behind him does not, but it's this far shot that has raised the most questions. The nose, jaw, and chin all appear to be the same length. The brow is set far back, and the eyes are weighed down by the neckline, while the crown of the head and the occipital bone are disproportionately enlarged. I think it's hard to say for sure in both videos because of the distance. If we get a third video that was closer and more detailed, then a more accurate determination could be made. However, I don't believe this mysterious agent was ever spotted again. A news reporter hears a train approach and gets an idea for a shot. Here, oh, let's go. The idea is to have her walk into the shot and let the train pass by for dramatic effect. The only problem is she can't look over her shoulder because it'll ruin the shot. She has to guess how close the train is, and her estimations are a little off. She manages to take two steps and is barely off the tracks when the train flies by. This could have ended a lot differently, and there would have been absolutely nothing for the cameraman to do to stop it. This creature in the sky is unidentifiable, but it's got six legs. We originally came across this video on the Spanish-speaking scary video community in June of 2019. The thing appears to have a pin head, multiple crab-like legs, and finally wings. As you can see when it takes off from the tree branch it's crouched upon. The creature looks extraterrestrial. It's certainly something nobody has seen on Earth. Whatever it is, you don't want this monster hiding under your bed. We managed to track down the original source, and this turns out to be a CGI creature made by the Nicaraguan YouTube team, JJPD Producciones. So if you come across this video because it's spreading all over the internet, now you know its true origins. A YouTuber named Elton Menea Severo is recording a webcam video. When a phone call interrupts him, it looks like he might sense that something is nearby when he is talking, but he is too distracted by the conversation to give it much more than a moment's thought. As soon as he hangs up the phone, a white moon-shaped face peeks in from around the corner. It surveys the room for a bit before ducking down and leaping out of sight when Elton turns around, at which point you can momentarily see some kind of weird body with short arms and legs. There is a chance that all of this could be edited, but before you immediately think this is fake, keep in mind that it was recorded in 2006, so pretty much all webcam videos looked grainy like this. If anything, this was a pretty high quality video for its time, especially considering YouTube was less than two years old when it was uploaded, so who knows what it could have been. This home video looks like it was taken sometime during the 1990s. A child is sitting in a high chair, happily learning about the different names for various parts of the body when something briefly interrupts the innocent lesson. The child tracks an invisible object with an exaggerated head motion. Then he mumbles about a ghost. It's hard to tell what he says. 
but I think he might have said there's the ghost or something along those lines, almost as if he's been at it before and has been expecting to see it again for some time. The child thinks for a bit and then says something else that's really weird. <laughs> it almost sounds like he's asking if his dad got the ghost or something like that. It's hard to tell what he says here, so give me your best guess. Maybe together we can figure out the surrounding circumstances behind this video. Anyway, things go back to normal for a bit, and it looks like the paranormal encounter is over. But then he makes a really confused face and looks around again saying something else that's completely indecipherable. Even if we were to know the identity of the child in this video, I doubt they would remember anything of use. All we have to go by is this puzzling piece of paranormal evidence. Zishan Sheikh is fooling people with a scream mask all night until he goes a little too far. He's sitting in the road with his back turned when he scares the driver of this vehicle unconscious. I don't know if it's staged or if this person had some kind of heart condition and passed out. I'm not even sure he is still alive at this point. Either way, this YouTuber cradles the person's body in his arms and prays. It's unclear what happens next. The fact that they immediately stopped recording makes me think this stranger's reaction could be real. A YouTuber wants to go exploring at an old abandoned school on the edge of the town in Searsboro, Iowa, a place rumored to be haunted and made even scarier by some nearby creepy woods. The school was shut down two times and nobody really knows why, or at least the local townsfolk don't want to say. The inside is trashed and has no power, and yet their equipment makes a low rumble from an electronic disturbance coming from this stairway. Notice how the sound goes away as soon as they turn away from the steps. Do we even want to try like that? Should we go across the catwalk yeah, or this way? Something paranormal is definitely up there. A strange feeling keeps them all away. In the next room, this rope moves by itself and then a bucket quickly follows. A second rope gets pulled and it's hard to say if all of this is a ghost or one of them off camera. On their way out of the abandoned property, they find this creepy secret room. Why a school would have a hidden room is beyond me, and also beyond creepy. Keeping a student down there would definitely get your school shut down. They find another small room hidden away and decide to go in. Inside is a message that says something bad happened in this secret room. It's an old worn message written long ago. Not by them, but perhaps a former student. A creepy noise ends the exploration as fast as it began, and when they look back at the abandoned building, they see what could be a pale ghost in the window. Sound in the absence of sight can be seriously alarming. This video shows just how frightening it can feel to hear something you cannot see. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Camilla Rose 529 the Redditor explains that she and a friend were cleaning a house when they heard this incredible mayhem outside. Yeah, what was that? Oh, that was freaking me out. They went out to see what was causing all the ruckus. The sound fills up all airspace outside, though garbled. It sounds a bit like a jet flying overhead. A moment later, however, this terrifying roar blows your eardrums out. Maybe not a jet, perhaps a literal monster. Yeah, what was that? Oh, that was freaking me out. Camilla writes, we called the police and they were unable to give us any information about what was going on around us and never went back to that house again. Redditor Paranormal Psychic notes in the comments, there have been multiple eerie sounds coming seemingly from either the woods or the sky itself, usually music, horns, or even screaming. First time I've ever heard growling. Is this a growl? If not, what is it? It certainly doesn't sound human. Ashley Ortega and her friend Corey are making a video about how to play with a Ouija board. 
Ashley claims to have some bad experiences with the board before and is hesitant about trying it again. The curiosity gets the best of her and they start asking questions. After a while, they think they're communicating with an 84-year-old male spirit who refuses to provide much information. It seems to select letters at random or doesn't respond at all, but Ashley knows something is near and starts shaking. It then correctly tells Ashley how old she is and says that it watches her. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what's asking. They continue to ask for more information and get some predictions about Ashley's future. It's impossible to verify if these predictions will come true or not. However, this does happen shortly before they conclude the session. Your nose is bleeding. Your nose is bleeding. Let me know if you've had anything similar happen to your nose while playing with a Ouija board. Neutralizer Ghost is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in Indonesia that has some really creepy videos. Beyond the outskirts of town lies a ghost colony, and sometimes a paranormal entity or two will wander into some local houses to haunt. <laughs> This one looks small and frail, bound tightly in burial garbs. It has sentience and follows the investigator's movements with its head. He talks to it for a little bit and seems to ask questions in the hopes that it will answer. <laughs> The mysterious figure never offers an explanation. They never seem to. He attempts to rip off its face covering and the spirit quickly disappears. He checks all around the area and no longer sees or senses it's near. The paranormal exploration continues for a while until he's convinced the town is clear. Maybe next time he'll get a hold of its robes and finally reveal the spirit figure's true face. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.